So here we go, I'm hunting for shallow targets today. Less than one on the gain, five discrimination level, seven discrimination depth, manual ground balance, discriminator switch one, threshold of four. I'm actually gonna put the silencer just about to two. Uh, we're only digging shallow targets. The Bliss has great coverage, good pinpointing, and uh, who knows, maybe I can find some jewelry. It wouldn't be that deep anyways. I'll get back to you when I get a target. And by the way, I'm not running my discrimination level over five or I will lose white gold. I've already uh, experimented with that. So I will dig some foils and definitely pull tabs. But if there's a ring, I'm going to nail it. Okay, I got a signal. But I want to show you a cool thing about the Bliss tool. Is it does not beep until you reverse direction on this metal pole. Say I'm going to swing towards it. It doesn't beep until I reverse direction. That allows me to find things. It's actually discriminating it, but I got a target here. And you can see it's just a bottle top down in the hole. It's about three inches deep. But if you don't dig these plastic with a metal top, you don't dig these, you're missing gold rings. The ground is bone dry. I'm going to put a little fertilizer in the hole so it comes back good. Put the plug back in. Pound it down good. We're ready to move on. Here's some iron. We'll leave it. Okay, we got a fence here. Got a signal next to it. You creep up to it and pinpoint with the tip of the coil. Is right underneath the coil now and it was a pull tab and I'm gonna fertilize the hole put the dirt back in another signal was a bottle top. Thank you. Another target. It's an aluminum can. Signal. Oh, there's something cool. A nickel. Well, that, hey, can't complain about that. It was an old pull tab. This is like a late 70s, early 80s pull tab. And there's the outfield. A lot to, a lot to detect here yet. Farm field over there. I'm just getting a very teeny tiny s signal. Should have ignored it. It was just foil. And see how that silencer kind of suppresses stuff like this. And the low threshold. Yeah, it wasn't coming through strong. I should have ignored it. Just foil. Another signal. part of an aluminum can. Covered a lot of grand. All the way down here. I got a beep. Ah, pull tab. Again, late 70s, early 80s. 
Here we got some grape vines growing uh, right down there, up all over this fence. And there's a few grapes on them. Right there, you can see a few grapes. And this this ought to be wine making country right here. I'll tell you what. Here comes a Canadian honky. if you can see it. There he is. Canadian hockey. Gonna be flying south pretty quick. I found a penny. I do believe it's copper. Copper's good. Since they make the zinc ones now. Eighty one. Which would confirm the dates on a lot of these cans. Yeah, nineteen eighty one. Eighty three they come out with zinc pennies. Still something in the hole, I'm still getting a signal. Don't know where, don't know why. Another penny. Nice. A quarter. A quarter comes out. All right. And not far away from that. It's a real short signal. Here we go. Look at that. Another nice quarter. Nice. Must have rolled just a little ways from the other coin spill. It was about 18 inches away. <laughs> 